Morgan from Bistro Morgan Bakehouse in Melbourne is joining me to make a very special biscuit, a homemade Tim Tam. I think I've got your attention now. <laughs> Everyone loves a Tim Tam and they're pretty easy to make at home. 100%. I think it was one of my most favourite biscuits growing up as a kid. Um, so basically here we've got like a pretty simple biscuit dough. It's just a combination of eggs, butter, sugars, um, cocoa powder and mm. flour. Basically all we're going to do is roll that out into a thin sheet about five millimetres thick mm. because we don't want those biscuits too thick, that's yep. for sure. And then we're going to cut them out into your Tim Tam shaped pieces. But yep. whilst I'm doing this, yes. do you want to make the filling for the Tim Tam? So it's a chocolate malt buttercream. Okay. So it sort of adds that flavour of the chocolatiness, but also that nice malt um, addition, which just brings it to the next level. So this is malt here? Yeah, so it's like what you're having, like a chocolate malt shake. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> so into uh, a food processor, we'll add, that was icing sugar? Yeah, so it's basically, it's icing sugar combined with your butter, cocoa powder, the malt powder, and then just some milk to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, there it goes. And the butter, which we have softened slightly. Yes. Okay. And the malt, and you can get this from literally any supermarket. Yep. Comes in like a nice jar. It's really good because you know any leftovers. Put in some like cheeky chocolate milkshakes, mm. things like that. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> and a hint of milk. So I'm going to blend this. And what's the texture that I'm looking for? You want a really, really smooth and fluffy texture, and that's why the milk really helps to just make it that little bit runnier. Because otherwise, it can be a bit thick and gluggy. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm onto it. Right. Oh, this looks good, Morgan. It's what do you very reckon? Good. I think that consistency bang on. It's that glossiness. Look how glossy it is. Perfect for the filling. I could eat that as is. <laughs> <laughs> you want to chuck it in a piping bag, then we can get it ready to fill them. Sure can. And how's your biscuit dough it's going? It's perfect. So we've rolled it out to about three or four millimetres thick now. Mm -hmm. And so we'll remove that top layer of baking paper. Mm -hmm. And then we're actually going to use a ruler. It's really important to use a ruler because those straight edges are so, so important. Mm -hmm. Grab a knife. We want to cut down to create a straight line. Yes, because a Tim Tam has a very specific measurements, right? Exactly, exactly <laughs> right. You so. don't, unless you want to make a giant Tim Tam, I'd be all for that. And too. you know what, you can do whatever you want. The creative license is all yours. If you want to create a circle Tim Tam, go for it. And because there's quite a lot of butter in the biscuit dough, you do want to work kind of fast. Uh, so it, it's it's easy to transfer from 100%. that paper. The, the longer tray. and the like, the slower you work, it's going to become soft, yeah. and then it will lose its shape, or you run the more risk of it's losing its shape. And if that does happen, can we just pop it in the fridge for a little bit Definitely. and start again? I would even put it in the freezer for about oh. five minutes because yeah. that will just fasten that process, mm. and then you can just return to cutting your Tim Tams out. Right. Well, while you're doing that, I'll place um, this delicious filling into the piping bag. Does this need to go into the fridge at all or can we leave it at room temperature? I would leave that at room temperatures just because the butter content is so high in a buttercream. If you put it into the fridge, the butter will set and you'll end up with something that you won't actually be able to pipe. OK, well, I'll finish this off while you cut the biscuits. How long are they going to bake in the oven for? So they'll bake at 180 for about 12 to 15 minutes or until just the edges turn that really, really sort of dark brown golden colour. Nice one. So while those biscuits are baking, we're going to make our topping. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're going to do is melt together some dark chocolate with some coconut oil. The coconut oil just makes it a little bit runnier and really glossy and shiny. Yeah. So we're going to do it here over a double boiler. How much uh, coconut? So you want oil? one tablespoon or about 20 grams of coconut oil with 200 grams of your dark chocolate. Okay. Easy measurements to remember. So we've got our cool Tim Tam biscuits here. Now it's time to assemble them. Yep. So we've got our buttercream ready to go and our topping. So what we're going to want to do is pipe a really nice layer on the inside of this Tim Tam. I like to go from side to side. You can see that luscious, glossy buttercream. Oh, and I will be very happy to oblige. <laughs> Pop that on top. And I can see that you're actually putting a lot of filling in there and all the way to the, the edges. That's okay to do that? I, I really like when you bite into them, you get that 
gooey, gooey feeling. Mm. I feel like that's the, the joys of homemade Tim Tams because you can actually do something a bit different. You can also do things like fill them with like peanut butter and other fillings if you're wanting to customise them a bit as well. Oh, peanut butter and jam in oh, a yeah. Tim Tam. Oh, yeah. I love it. All right, line them up. That's the one. So we've got our topping here and we're mm -hmm. just going to want to generously pour it over. And there you go. Now it's really taking shape. Make that sure is... you get all the edges because yep. that's what's going to hold it together, as you said, because there's so much filling. This is very fun to watch and also create with you because it's such an iconic biscuit. Yeah. Uh, to be able to make it at home and choose what you want to put inside is a lot of fun. You know, it brings back those memories. Oh, I used to have Tim Tams when I was at my grandma's house exactly. or things like that. And exactly. as soon as you bite into it, you're like, oh my gosh, this brings yeah. back memories. Because food should be fun. Food should be about sharing memories and creating memories. Absolutely. We're going to allow these just to set because naturally I want to dig in straight away. You've got to wait, Justine. Got to wait. I will wait. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Morgan, I think it's time to have a taste. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. They're looking pretty impressive now they've set. Absolutely. All right, we'll grab one. Mm -hmm. This is just a taste tester because we've got to get it through a few look after this. Inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like the ultimate Tim Tam there, where you've got that gorgeous feeling, bicky and coating. Let's have a try. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say they're better than the originals? I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> they're awesome. Thank you, Morgan. No worries.